Good morning. My name is Jennifer Urban, and I am the chairperson of the California Privacy Protection Agency Board. Welcome to our October 18th meeting. Before we get started with the substance of the meeting, I have some logistical announcements. First, I'd like to ask that everyone please check that your microphone is muted when you are not speaking. Today's meeting will be run according to the Bagley Keene Open Meeting Act, as required by law. Additionally, as I meant, uh, this meeting is being recorded. After each agenda item, there will be an opportunity for questions and discussion by board members. We have also we have designated a time on the agenda for public comment, and I will also ask for public comment on each agenda item. Each speaker will be limited to three minutes per agenda item. Members of the public who wish to comment on any item may do so when prompted. Uh, and here the instructions are a little different from our earlier meetings because um, we're very grateful to the Department of Justice for hosting us, and they're hosting us on the Blue Jeans platform. So if you've joined other meetings, these directions are slightly different. For those connected through the internet, please take a moment to locate the raise hand icon, um, and this you can use to signal that you wish to comment. You must be on a mobile device or a computer to participate in public comment, unfortunately. The Blue Jeans platform does not allow for phone attendees to participate. So if you'd like to comment, um, please join via those platforms. Once you've requested a comment by praising the, pressing the raise hand icon, you will be accepted and you'll be prompted to click continue. You must click continue um, in order to complete the process. You will then be unmuted and prompted to speak, and you'll have up to three minutes to make your comment. When your comment is completed, the moderator will mute you. It is helpful to identify yourself, but as always, this is entirely voluntary, and you can also input a pseudonym when you log into the meeting. I'd like to remind all speakers to stay on topic and keep your comments to three minutes. Relatedly, I would like to remind everyone of the rules of the road under Bagley Keene. Both board members and members of the public may discuss items on the agenda only. Items not on the agenda can be suggested for discussion at future meetings when the board takes up the agenda item designated for that purpose. I think it's number 14 today. The board welcomes public comment on any item on the agenda, and it is the board's intent to ask for public comment prior to the board voting on any item. If for some reason I forget to ask for public comment, um, please use the raise your hand function so the moderator can recognize you if you'd like to speak. For those joining later in the meeting, the moderator, um, excuse me, we will take a break um, probably around noon or 12.30 for lunch, depending on where we are in the agenda, and shorter breaks um, as needed. Please note that our first agenda item today is a closed session item, so I will establish a quorum, request comment, and then the board will go into closed session. When we are finished, we will return to this public session. I can't perfectly predict the timing, but my expectation is that we will return within an hour or an hour and a half. Um, I'll repeat some of this introductory information for anyone who was waiting to join until we went into the public session items. I'd like to pause to thank the board members for their service and all the people working to make this meeting possible. I'd like to thank the team from the Office of the Attorney General supporting us today. Mr. Thomas Bruder, who is acting as our meeting counsel, Ms. Trini Hurtado, who is acting as moderator and is the conference services expert who has organized this meeting infrastructure. Ms. Susan Wayland and Ms. Rachel Frazier for taking minutes. Ms. Deborah Castanon for assisting with moderation and Ms. Stacey Heinsen for organizing all the staffing and resources. I'd also like to thank the team at the Department of Consumer Affairs for managing our communications list and website and generally thank the staff um, at the Business Consumer Services and Housing Agency the Department of Consumer Affairs, Department of General Services, and other agencies who have continued to really um, uh, help us out and do a wonderful job um, loaning time behind the scenes. I would now like to call the meeting to order and ask our moderator, Ms. Hurtado, to please conduct the roll call. Ms. Hurtado? Of course, I would be the one to not unmute my mic. Uh, Ms. Delatore? Yes. Mr. Lay? Present. Ms. Sierra? Present. 
Mr. Thompson. Present. Ms. Urban. Present. There are uh, five members present. Thank and you. I believe we established a quorum. Wonderful. Thank you, Ms. Hurtado. The board has indeed established a quorum. I would like to let the board members know that we will be taking a roll call vote on any action items today. Uh, with that, let's move into our second agenda item, which will be a closed session agenda item. The board will go into closed session for discussion and possible action on the appointment of executive director, chief deputy director of administration, and chief privacy auditor under authority of government code 11126, subsection A, subsection 1. As mentioned, we'll return to the public session when we're finished with the closed session. Again, I can't perfectly predict, but I think we'll be back in an hour to an hour and a half. Um, and be but before we go into the closed session, um, I'd like to ask if there's any public comments at this point in the audience before we um, head out for a little bit. Do you see anyone, Mr. Tato? All right, we'll give them a minute just in case people are thinking. Wonderful, thank you. Um, with that, um, uh, the board members will leave the session uh, for the moment and we will return after we're done discussing our closed session item. Thank you again, everyone, for attending our meeting today.